We're gonna make it rain. How's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be showing you how to create a channel point reward where you can literally make it rain any emotes that your chat puts into a channel reward. You can also use the URL to embed anything else that you might like into it and just make it rain on its own, different scene, anything like that. Choice is entirely yours. I'm gonna be showing you basically how it all works and all the different options that you can do with this. This was made in conjunction with Gazelle. So if you don't know what Gazelle is, it's basically me and my friend Trent's little collective where we create different things for you content creators, such as channel point rewards on YouTube. There's a Chrome extension for that now. And also Mistlink, which is basically a link tree alternative for you to share all your social media profiles. And it also embeds your YouTube and your Twitch live streams on there too. If you like the work that we do and you want to support us, make sure you check the coffee link down below and you get some extra bonuses by doing that too. But anyway, let's jump straight into it. So here you can see we're inside of OBS and we're gonna start poking around at stuff now. I create a new scene here called Raining Emoji. You can do the exact same. And the only thing you want to do in there is just create a browser source. I just call mine Emoji. You can call it whatever you want, but just make sure that if you're doing the channel point reward is that you're gonna to need to make the changes inside of StreamerBot. For the moment, however, I recommend just entering in this right here. So HTTPS colon dash dash API .io. I set the width and height to 1000 and you don't need to do anything else. You can shut the source down when it's not visible. It's entirely up to you. Once you have that then, just make sure the box is touching the top and it's stretched fully along like so. So just top left, get this, slide it along until it snaps and you're done. We can also just make that invisible by pressing the I button here. Next thing you want to do is jump over to StreamerBot. Down below there's going to be a link to a post that I've created on Coffee, which basically has the import string for this. So all you need to do is click into that and download it. Once you have the emoji.streamerbot file downloaded, head into your StreamerBot, press import and drag that file right in here. After that, then you're going to have this new thing under Gazelle's fun things called channel reward emoji. Now you're going to want to modify these to if you had not named this emoji or named this raining emoji. But the most important thing that you should see here is that this has emoji, multiple, and then it has a raw input, okay? Honestly, not much more that you gotta do here and you can easily test this out. So as always in StreamerBot, press that beautiful save button right there. One thing you do have to do, however, is actually set the channel reward, right? So instead of your StreamerBot, go into platforms, go into Twitch and go into channel rewards. Right click and create a new channel reward. I called mine emoji rain here. I have it set to enabled. You can set the cost to whatever you want. Make sure you do have user input required. Emotes will not work at this time. It's just how Twitch pulls the image in it because it's not subscribed. It's, it's stupid, it's com complicated, it's weird. Just, yeah. That is the only limitation is that you can't actually use your Twitch emotes with this, at least for right now. Then down under the action, then you just wanna set it to the channel reward emoji. And once you've done that, you can just press save and press save. Now, so obviously this is on its own scene, which we don't want. So I have my nested. If you don't understand what that means, I have a video on it where I talk about it. Check the link down below or the card up in the top corner. But basically I have the raining, the raining emoji scene inside of my alert scene. And then in my chatting scene, I have the alert scene there too. So it's like nested scene inside a nested scene, but this is basically how, how I, how I do it. Right. So let's say I'm on my just chat and scene. I'm having fun, whatever like that. Someone redeems the emoji rain and let's just say they want to put in like some hearts. They want to put in a laughy face and they want to give me the eyes cause they're sussy bakas, right? But let's press enter on this now. Now we can see all of them raining down. If an emoji can have different colors, it will automatically just generate random colors for it too and it's going to rain here for a little bit and as you can see now it's going to start fading out and it fades out within about 500 milliseconds now that's not going to happen for you right away they're just going to cut and it's going to look weird so what you want to do is go back inside the raining emoji click on the emoji browser source and go to the show and high transition you just want to set them to just to a basic fade after that then you can just nest that scene wherever you want your check and spam some emojis and it comes raining down in all of its glory. Instead of streaming bot as well, you may have seen the comments that I've left here as well. So here I give you an example if you wanted to have some custom images. So if you have images on Discord or Immigrant or anything like that that you can just pull a URL from, you can just basically make it rain on any of those types of things. All you're gonna wanna do is double click and copy that comment. Go back into your OBS, whatever scene you want to have this on. I'm just going to throw it right here. And we're just going to call this the mislink logo raining. Okay. I'm going to replace that URL and paste in the one I have here. Now, if you want to change this to any image that you want, 
literally just replace what I have highlighted here. Make sure you keep the square brackets and make sure that you keep the double quotes. But this is perfectly fine for me now. As I said, set them to 1000, 1000. Don't need to change anything else. When I press this, stretch it out. Now it's just going to infinitely rain the mislink logo. See how easy that was? So if you wanted to even have something that just toggled this specific thing on and off, anything like that, really, really easy. I hope you enjoyed the work that me and Gazelle are after doing for you guys to create this. If you have any feature requests or anything like that, please let us know in our Discord. It should be floating about around here. If you liked it as well, do not forget to like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And once again, I really actually want to thank you guys. We just hit 500 subscribers. That's fucking pog champs. I'll see you in the next one. Good day.